Hello dear viewer, I'm Lee Suss and welcome back to Hydronia. And I've timed my shopping trip terribly because I think the sun's going down. But never mind. It's alright. <laughs> uh, Wilhelm's always got the shops open, so that's fine. We can still go in there and get stuff from him. Uh, but it's uh, probably not good for the lighting here. Yeah, the torches have come on. Right, what am I coming here to do anyway? Uh, well, I've got about 25, 2500 quid. Okay, which didn't take too long to get. Um. And we want some more automation. And I was trying to decide what to do next because there's a, I figured there's three routes we can go down. Either we can get better at getting the dirt to put into the harvester, or we can get better at getting the dirt into the harvester rather than me having to run up and down and put it in there. That's, that's kind of a pain. Um, or we can get better at sorting the stuff coming out of the harvester. Um, if I get a drill, I've not played with these yet. There's those two drills that we can we can get from here. Um, that one's quite expensive. I presume this is the less good one. Um, top level dirt works fast with a bit of water pressure. So that needs filtered water as well. Okay. Um, putting the dirt in is not terrible. It's not the worst getting dirt. You just dig it up and put it in a bucket. Carrying it's a little bit of a pain. But really, as far as I've found so far, in getting my 2,500 coins, sorting out the stuff that's user of the harvester is far worse. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some conveyor belts. We're going to do three of these. I've reworked the, uh, the thing a little bit by the way. The, the, uh... Are you going to be alright? Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, I've reworked um, how the stuff's coming out the machine, but I'll show you that in a minute. And we need... Ah, yeah. A couple of splitters. Now, the this is basically a conveyor belt with a sorter system on it. And what it does, these, um, it will take, it will select out one item. Okay. It's selecting itself out of the uh, the tin is what it's doing. Um, it will select one item out and let the rest go through. And luckily, these things don't need they don't need any fancy water things yet. And they've got pipes next to them. I think I might need one more conveyor. Just just calm it. Just sort yourselves out, okay? It's fine. Um, do I need? Do I need some more pipes? I think it's probably about time to finally cannibalise the ones we've got sitting at the site already. I can get pipes down there anyway, it's not a problem. What we do need though, and we can get valves down there as well. Don't need water pressure yet. I think we're good for everything else really. I think so. We'll look at this thing later, the shredder, but not yet. That might do it. Um, one other thing is as far as the convenience of getting up on top of the construction I'm going to make and also the getting stuff out of the mine some stairs I can't pick them up there we go the hole that I'm climbing into to get the dirt out of is a little bit of a pain you know it's a little bit awkward anything new here no um and also I'm thinking that just climbing up on top of the uh, the machine that I'm building, like the mini factory that I'm making, kind of a pain as well. So let's stick all this lot in the in the lorry, in the truck, and then we'll try to assemble it to something that makes sense. We got back with that incident, but I did don't think I managed to in insert a set of stairs somewhere into the truck. <laughs> I sort of pushed it too far into the cab area. Oh, it's got a thing on there. Like an, I didn't realize it's got that on there. Sorry, anyway, let me finish what I was saying first. So yeah, I think I've managed to insert the stairs too far into the truck and then let go of it. Because it's sort of part where, they, where the objects pass through things. So watch out for that in case you buy something expensive and you then can't get it out of the truck again. What I didn't realize was this is a a water gauge. I was working how much water was in there by looking at the tank on the top, but that's um, 
helpful that I've now seen that. So, over here, it's changed slightly since you last saw it. All I've done really is extended out this way. Because we, I tried to, you know, restrain how the the stuff was coming out before. It wasn't really working, was it? It was, it was flying in the air. So I thought, work with it. If it's going to spew out anyway, let it spew out this way. And you can have a set of conveyor belts along here to carry it away. Sound good? Yeah, yeah I think so too. So, um... Some of the objects do still fly out the end, but that's okay. I think we can work with that. So what I need to do is remove these. If I manage to get my... Damn it. I managed to get my spanner to sit in here. It varies on where you click with it. We need to... There we go. So I'm figuring that... We put the conveyor belts in here. That'll be good. Although, so there's the water. It's got a direction arrow on there, which way it's going to go. But the pipe could be a problem. Um, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have put this big foundation in here. I can remove it. It doesn't have to be there. It is old though, isn't it? Oh, how... Is that the right way? I think that's the right way. That's the arrow going out, yeah. How the objects don't line up, you'd expect this to line up perfectly with this, but the same way that the funnels don't quite line up, you know, it's, it's odd, but it's not necessarily terrible because I sort of appreciate the idea that not everything lines up. It's a bit all rickety, isn't it? That's what, the, that's what the whole design is like. Everything's... Although we've got some fancy machines here, um, like conveyor belts and things, really... I can see an arrow, arrow angle for the water there. No, I've got it wrong. There we go. Um... Yeah, although it's like, oh, we've got conveyor belts, wow, you know, they're still kind of, they're a little bit, not steampunky really, but they're, they're not like super polished pieces of kit, are they? They're a little bit, a little bit, uh, th thrown together's rude, but they're, uh, you know what I mean, they're a bit rickety, a bit, a bit rough and ready, you know, made with, not crude tools, but you know, not not high grade machine tools. You know, a bunch of pipes slung together is what they are. Now, what do we do about? There's nothing insulting the, uh, the thing. The pipes are over there. So we've got a spare funnel. So if we have water pipe coming through here, I'm not sure it will clip through the ground. But we want to keep it away from here because this is filtered water and this is non-filtered water. It's working! Funnily enough as well, I did think about this the other day. So, hold on. So, finish the fort first, as usual, me. I have too much stuff going through my brain, normally. That's the problem. So I was going to say, it's a bit of a mess around here. Um, but that's okay. And also, this valve is not really necessary because... Um... I can just leave this running. It doesn't matter if it keeps from running like this. It's, it's absolutely fine. Uh, oh. That's a problem. I did manage to lose a piece of pipe in the ground as well. So I thought I'd got lucky where I could pass pipe through here. But in fact it was clashing too much. What have you got there, sir? What are you eating? Huh? What? What? Sticky toffee. Sticky toffee? How much sticky toffee's left? You're eating the last of the Tiki Tuffy pudding. Yeah. <laughs> Let me sniff up the way past. <laughs> Go and eat it, you monster. <laughs> eating the last of the Tiki Tuffy pudding. Now I'm completely distracted. Right, okay, so I tried to pass a pipe through the ground, but 
But I now can't get it back out again because I can't see it. As long as you, when it's partly into the ground, like sticking through like this, you can uh, stick it off anybody. You can uh, you can see the bit sticking out. You can take it back out again. But there's a piece that's completely buried in here, and I can't dig this up because it's riverbank, and therefore not diggable. Um, the other thing I was thinking about was if this game contained like real proper water management, where and as in water mismanagement. Because of course, water goes in one end. I was wondering what would happen if you put this on here. Would it simply like not magically come out the other end? But of course, the water's got to come out. It's got to come out somewhere. And really, although I don't need to, I can let it drip on here as much as I want to. It's not going to flood the area. That's what I meant about mismanagement. I see you. Um, I was. Uh, I've got this urge to feed it back in again because I don't like. I don't like the drip dripping. That would drive me around the bend. I could put a cork in there and it would keep on... Will it keep on working if I put a cork in the end? Good question. Should we... Should we um, I know, I'm sorry. Distracted science. So what's going to happen next? So the next thought is... I'm going to st stick a cork in the end. Is what I'm going to do. But I'm also going to... Um, oh, there it is. I didn't realise I picked it up. I'm going to uh, put one of those sorters on the end of this. Now you know that items are spraying out. We saw an example there. It paused, but it's still working. I find that a little upsetting. I think it should stop. But fine, we'll go with it. So we know items are spraying out, yeah, and in theory going past here. But I'm thinking if I put a con like a sorter on the end here, will um, will it um, will it catch the items that are going to be going through? I don't know. So the way this works, why has he got another pipe? Why has it got three pipes? I guess you can do a lot of sort. Oh no! Um, oh, of course you've got. Mm. So what happens is, so items go in this side. I think no, they go in this side. The item you don't you want to keep comes out this side, and the rest of it carries on this way. And of course, there's a reason there's a three-way pipe. It's because you'll probably want a conveyor belt here, but maybe not needed. I'm gonna find out in a second. Let's take the cork out. Right. So, down the wrong way. Right. So that's dirt, gold, iron, gems. No. <laughs> And, um, uh, shut. But I think we only need to sort out dirt we can do later. Why would you want dirt? I don't know. It's possible, I guess. We just want to separate the gold and the iron out, I think is the answer. So, I've got two questions. One is... Come on. Where are you? Do I need to have a conveyor belt? Oh, I've got this height thing again. Do I need to have a conveyor belt here? Or can I simply have a funnel? I bet I can't. And have it drop into a container. Yeah? Do I need to have a conveyor belt there? Is it going to miss if I put that there? There's only one way to find out. So... Um, hold on. This is fortuitous. Let's find out what happens. I really wish I hadn't dug that hole in it. I did regret it when I first did it. I thought, I bet this is going to be problems later. This is what the stairs are for, by the way. Dealing with this nonsense here. Right, here we go. There it is! And of course, 
the final test. So it just dropped out the other end. Doesn't doesn't deal with the scatter test yet. The scatter test might just not work. Um, if it keeps on scattering past here, I think we can just move this further along and have another conveyor belt. But oh, I think we're there. You know, I think we've got a possible system. Hmm. Okay, I've worked all night, but the beast is done. It's not very nice looking, but it's there. On the second, let's put these in here. Just clear, oh, for goodness sake. Just clearing off some of the dirt that I've uh, had to leave lying around. And we're going to give it a test run, see if it works. Okay, so. Over here, this is the problem because again we're dropping below the level. I did think about raising these up one more time because I think that what we could do here, by the way, ladder, steps going up rather, much nicer. Um, we could raise these up. This is the output. I reckon we could raise these up and catch them going through here. But if I did that, a negative would be, I know it's silly, but the feed pipes for this would be basically sitting on top of feed pipes, the water pipes for these conveyor belts. And it would look silly because this thing would be floating in midair. There's enough floaty things in this game without being that being floating as well. So I didn't do that. Um, so we've kept it the same, but that doesn't mean I have to dig into the ground to get these. And they're fairly well lined up. It was quite tricky to put these in like holes. Originally I tried to put dig holes to put these into. You can carefully place an item by holding right click. But it always comes down at an angle for some reason. So you sort of put it in the right place and then let it go. And hopefully that's the right sort of place to catch it. It's not pretty, but we'll, we'll fix it later, yeah? We'll do more with it later. Let's get it working on principle for a start now, yeah? It should catch things in there. Right. Are we ready? So what I'm thinking is I'll be doing, before I get, until I get a machine to carry the stuff over here, and maybe dig things up as well. For now, I'll have a few to make some money. I'm gonna have a few runs like this. Possibly, I'll use that big platform here to put buckets on for this. Right. So this is already running. Spin the valve for this. I've seen this stuff. In it goes. Oh, we've already got some stuff. No, I thought we've got some stuff flying out for a second. So what I'm looking, testing here for really is are we losing things out of here somewhere? Or are the long flyers hitting this machine and going through it anyway? So we have gold in there. Only looks like gold in there. We only have iron in there. It's not the most scientific test in the world, is it really? And we have no gems come out. Okay, let's do a couple more test runs. escapee yeah we've got a few so we've got a shard here we have one piece of gold is that another one there it looks like it is any more is that that's one there there's a piece of iron there as well hmm not many though is it really it's not terrible doing a little bit of clearing up like that that's just a floaty bit of dirt. It looks like a piece, of, tiny piece of dirt, by the way, but in fact, it's actually huge. <laughs> it's the way it leaves tiny specks behind in the air that become, you could put in some sort of mag amplifying dirt trick with that, which I'm not in keen to engage in. But most of us falling down the hole, we've got only one shard by the look of it. But I think 
we can claim this on reasonable success. And because items are easy to remove from here, we're not going to lose anything. There's a nice bit of gold in there. Yeah, I reckon I can clear this dirt off here. It all runs. And then next episode, I think what we're going to do then is... Is what, me? What are we going to do next time? Are we going to drill yet? Drilling's not really a problem. I think there's, there's a couple of things we can work on. One is breaking big bits of dirt into smaller pieces of dirt, which I think might get us more resources. And the other, combined with that, is... Here we go, that's nice. He's putting things... He's, uh, he's using... Not having some chump with buckets putting things in there, but having a conveyor belt system. So maybe I'll be, I'm like emptying buckets onto a conveyor belt and that's carrying it up into the machine? I don't know. I'll have to find it next time, won't we? I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And if you did, I'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.